Hi everyone, this is Joanna and today I want to share with you some nail mail that I got. Just basically um, a mail haul because some of it's for nails, some of it's not. Um, the first thing I got was this little movie here. I ordered this off of Amazon for like $6 and something. And I didn't know that this was the little actress in Blackish. But I hadn't seen this movie and I think I wanted to see it with my son a while back. I had forgot all about it and I needed some new comedy movies and this was just $6 so I got it. And the next few things I'm going to show you are going to be from Amazon. I had been watching um, a video by Opalea18, I believe, Opalea. And she had some blues in her video. I think some of them she said were from the Electric Knights collection. And one of these I think is from the Road Trip collection. I'm not certain on that, but I'm going to show you the colors. This one here, which is Boho Blues, I believe is the one that might be from the Road Trip Collection. It's sort of a periwinkle blue. And it almost, to me, it does not look like my secret periwinkle by then, but I'll have to get it out and see. But I liked it nonetheless. And the next ones I'm going to show you are the ones that I saw her use that I believe she said are from the Electric Knights Collection. This one is License and Registration, Please. And I thought that was a pretty blue, and in case I didn't leave Boho Blues up there long enough. So Boho Blues, License and Registration. Next up, are UV Meant to Be? Yeah, UV Meant to Be. And I like this. This is almost like the um, OPI. Can't find my checkbook somewhere along in there, but it's a little bit deeper to me. And then DJ Blew My Mind. And these are the two that I saw her use in a water marble. And I got online and got these right away after I saw her video. Next I have from Walgreens. Let me see. I think this one is from CVS. This is, um, what color is this? Spitfire by Wet n Wild. I'm thinking this is from CVS. I'm not sure. I don't think it's from Walgreens because I go to one Walgreens in this area. So this is from CVS. And there was another one of those that was 49 cents. And this one is Gypsy Green. And I think these came out with that one color that I had that I did the comparison with. The um, Teal Slowly and C. And I think Chambray Showers when I said those two were the same color. And then I got Flashy Fuchsia because I heard this one is a good one to stamp with. And then I got Blossom Dandy. And I do still want the Zoya one, which I've got some Zoya minis coming. And of course I got the OPI green, so I'll have almost all of these mint-like type green colors. Then I got this um, Black on Black. I got two of these. One is for me and one for me is for my friend that bought the um, stamping plates from me. She's having some trouble with stamping. So I plan to use my bottle to show her um, what to do with it. And then I also have a bottle just for her of this same thing because I think a lot of the trouble is the scraping part and not applying enough polish. So I'm going to see what's going on and just help her through with that because it can be odd when you first start. And then the next three items I have two are makeup. One is hair. I got the Oxblood Matte Gloss, and I did not get this for the $15 that Matte goes for. You guys, I'm telling you, don't stew any bricks, but I paid $34 for this. And I didn't really want to, but I wanted the color bad enough. In fact, something was going on with my Amazon transaction that it wasn't letting it go through. It was actually $24 when I first found it, which I thought, okay, I'll pay that. By the time I figured out what was wrong with my transaction and they let my order through, the seller had raised it up to $34. I did not like that. And you will always hear me say, normally I don't do that. I did because I like this and it ended up being worth my money because I ended up trying it on and liking it. But I wouldn't recommend that and that's what kind of makes me mad about people who get this stuff and then sell it for almost double and triple the price it's not fair when if companies would just re-release the product they would make more money than the person that's ripping us all off when we really want something <laughs> and then I got this oil I had been wanting this and I think it's different from the oil in the tube I'm not sure the one with the dropper it smells different and I like what it did to my hair so I do like it a lot and then I bit the bullet and got this. And I know this has been out for a long, long time. This is a comfort zone palette. Many of you probably have already had this a few times over. 
I got it for this color down here, this duochrome looking shade that I didn't know was duochrome until I saw someone's video. And then the last item I'm going to show you, I got because I saw um, Opalia 18 show these first. And then I saw Miss Skeleton Nails do one of those double nail stamping looks with them and I had to get them. And that is none other than these Uber Chick plates right here. I don't think I want the second set. I have seen both of these and this ended up being one of those um, buy now, pay later type things. And I don't know how that happens because it doesn't happen all the time. I notice whenever I order from Glisten and Glow that happens. And sometimes when I order from DRK that happens, something will pop up when I go to PayPal and it will say pay after delivery. It gives you 14 days and they take the money out 14 days after you um, order the item. So this won't come out for me until March the 2nd. And then my Glisten and Glow one will be coming out over the next few days. But they always send you an email telling you when they're going to um, be bringing stuff out. So you guys have seen these already. And I don't know why. I don't have much time left on my camera here. But the look that Skeleton Nails did, um, I believe she used whichever one has the words on it and the roses. She used this section right here. And then she used a piece of this rose and a piece of this rose right here. But that is all I have for now until I get some more time on my phone thing here because I'm running out of seconds. But that was it. Until the next time, everyone have a great day. And also, for those that wanted that second bottle of um, liquid latex, I have the one that wasn't so great around the top. I think I'm going to redo that. I don't know if I'm going to redo a brand new one or if I'm going to go into that video since I don't have access to my computer anymore. I will figure that out and I will come back and let you know, but I am going to do a redrawing for those that wanted me to do it because that's the one where the cap wasn't so clear. So again, until the next time, everyone have a great evening.